Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the top five things to think about when you place an ATM in a hotel. Always remember we have an ATM A to Z course that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. We also have an ATM Mastermind Group page that's free to join for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and be in an ATM family of other ATM business owners. So I also have an ATM A to Z book that I took over 20 years of experience and I put it all, all the tips and tricks right into this little sleek book. So if you guys need some help, you can purchase our book and we'll put the link down below. Also remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. So without further ado, we're gonna go into the top five things to think about when placing an ATM in a hotel. So point number one, who am I dealing with? So what you gotta do is you gotta figure out who am I dealing with. In our particular case, a lot of times, I'm trying, try, I have to go in through, let's call it the front door, which is funny with the hotel, but I gotta go in the front door, I gotta get to know the front desk supervisor or the front desk manager. Sometimes it's the general manager or it's assistant general manager in these cases. And then I got to make friends with that person to get to the owner, all right? Um, on smaller properties, let's say hotels usually under 125 rooms, a lot of times you'll be able to deal with the owner directly. And that is a home run because you can make a good deal. So I always look for dealing with the owner. That way I can get the, I was looking for a five-year location agreement. I can make that deal. I can give them um, smaller surcharge because they're not really concerned about the surcharge. They're making money on the hotel and the rooms. They're just adding convenience for their customers. And that's what they're all about is getting those good reviews when they, when the customers fill out the survey. That's what would make them happy. When they have to, when a customer has to leave the property and go across the street or go down the street to a gas station to get uh, money from an ATM, that brings their survey down. So they don't like that. So what you're doing is you're adding value to your property by putting an ATM in their hotel. But again, I like to deal with the owner if I can, because now I can make the best deal possible. So always know who you're dealing with and always ask the general manager, front desk supervisor, assist the general manager, is the, is the owner here from time to time? How do I get to talk to them? And if you can make that deal, it's the best deal possible for you and your ATM company. Always remember to deal with that hotel owner directly. That'll ensure you in the best possible deal for you and your ATM company. Point number two, a lot of times I'm like, well, who am I dealing with? And I'm trying to get to the owner and then I figure out that I'm actually dealing with the hotel management company. Now, a lot of hotels, owners own them and then they, they give them to management company who run the hotels. So now you have to deal with ABC management company. They might manage two to a bunch of properties. Now this could be an opportunity for you because you work your way in with the management companies, they manage a lot of properties, and if those properties are in a local area, you'll be able to put your ATMs in multiple locations. However, the downside with dealing with a management company is, more than likely, they won't sign more than maybe a one or a two year deal. They really don't have the authority most of the time to sign a long term agreement because when their management company is not dealing with the property owner anymore, then the property owner is locked into those deals. So the management company usually signs a deal with the owner and says, we will not enter into any long-term agreements, usually under a year or under two. So they don't have the authority to do that. So if you're dealing with the management company and you say, look, I want to put the ATM in the location, I got a five-year deal, more than likely, they're not going to, they, they don't want to sign it. The other side of the coin is, they want to get as much money out of the property as possible. So, depending on what that management deal looks like for that owner, they're gonna be interested in some added value revenue stream. Not really customer satisfaction, more of a revenue stream. So, they're gonna ask for something like 50% of their revenue. That doesn't really work for us unless it's a lot of volume. So, just keep in mind, if you're dealing with a management company, they're gonna, they're gonna want hardly any contract, if any contract, and they're not going to ask and they're going to want the maximum 50% of the, of the revenue. So just keep that in mind that when you go and you deal with a management company, they're like, oh, here's the situation. I know it's not going to be most favorable. Now, it'll be up to you as an ATM owner. Do I want to take this chance? Am I looking at the upside or is this not a good deal? For us, you know what? 
I, we got plenty of locations. I didn't need to uh, make a bad deal. I always try to make the best deal for the company every single time. And so I usually stay away from management deals unless it's just gonna be a rock star of a hotel. Point number three, I'm always looking for rooms. So what does that mean? I want somewhere between 100 to 200 rooms. 200 is my sweet spot when I deal with hotels. That is where we can make money. They got a lot of traffic. We're in COVID season and you know what? Hotel traffic is down right now, but you know what? It's a temporary slide. I do believe hotel business will come back and very favorable. So right now it might be a good time to talk to hotels because they're looking for anything and everything to help bring in revenue and they have the time to talk. Since they don't have a lot of rooms, it's a good time to make a deal with a hotel. So if you're thinking about locations, hotels right now, you'll be able to talk to them. Plus some of the ATM operators are pulling their ATMs out because they're not making any money, they're placing them somewhere else. It might be a good time for you guys to look at hotels, but always remember, try to get in with the hotel owner. All right, but we're looking for 200 plus rooms is really in a nice spot for you and your ATM business. And sometimes a little less, maybe under 100, will work if there's added value somewhere. Point number four, change in management, change in ownership. A lot of the hotels, just keep in mind, it seems like they're a revolving door. They'll be there two, three, four years, then they sell their hotel, and then they move on to the next property, and they're, they're always looking for a hotel maybe a little lower or something that's run down. They come in, they fix the hotel up, they bring it up to this level, and some owners, it's, it's like almost like a fix and flip type of business. They know what they're doing, they've been in the business for a long time, and they come in and they fix and flip it, and they get it to where they need it, and then they dump it. Or maybe they try to do it, and it doesn't work out, and they dump it anyways. So there's a lot of hotel turnover. So keep that in mind that, you know what, you'll be in there for a little while, and then, you know what, you could be out based on what happens. Now, most of the time in the ATM business, I'll be honest, we, there's not a lot of turnover. We go through owner after owner after owner. But keep in mind, it could happen. So be aware, because they change ownership, uh, and they change man, and then maybe you'll deal with an owner, and now they give it to the management company, it could happen to you. So just keep in mind that these things happen uh, be aware of it in the ATM business. Point number five, I'm always looking for add-ons. Phil, what's an add-on? An add-on to me is a swimming pool, a banquet facility, something that's attached, a golf course, something of that nature that brings in traffic other than the hotel business, maybe a ski resort. I don't know what it is, but it could be something that's going to definitely bring a conference center, something that's going to bring in those added rooms, those added uh, people into the hotel at any given time. So I'm always looking for that. So you might have maybe a, a Super 8, but you know what, there's a conference center. So there's always something that is bringing in traffic to your hotel, and I'm always looking for that. So I said five, but I'm gonna just throw a little tip on here. And you know what, when I was making this video, I, I started thinking about this, and this is something we did early on, and I have really dropped the ball on this one. And so I'm gonna give it to you how I made a mistake, and you know what, I'm gonna go back, look at what we did, and invest in what we should do going for, forward. And so when we started out in hotel in hotels, what we really did is we got to know some of we got to know a chef, or we got to know a front desk manager, or we got to know um, assistant general manager, or even a general manager. And then what happens is if these people are diehard or lifers in the hotel hospitality industry, they'll stay and they'll be at that property for two to three years and they'll bounce over to another property. Maybe they started as a front desk supervisor, then they work their way up to assistant general manager then they get an assistant general manager somewhere else. Every time they move, guess what happens? They'll let you know if you build a relationship with them, hey Phil, I'm over at the, the Holiday Inn, or I'm over at Embassy Suites, I'm over at the Hyatt, something of that nature, and now they can use their influence to get you in the door, and that helps you out. So keep in mind, keep friends with these people because they're in the industry, they're gonna help you, and. Uh, bring your ATM business into the new hotels that they're at. There will always be an opportunity. Maybe when they move properties, that ATM isn't being filled, it's an old one, it's broke down. Now they got your number, keep keep in touch with them and say, yeah, hey man, thank you very much for what you did me at the other property. Just want to see how you are. Stop over, see them, chat them up, and that'll help open the door for when they move over to another property where there is an opportunity, you'll be at the top of their list. So we haven't done that enough as a company I dropped the ball but I'm gonna I'm gonna start opening that door up again I just want to give you that tip because it was very successful and you know what we didn't do our job so I'm giving that tip to you 
Always remember we have an ATM A to Z course that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. We have the ATM Mastermind group page that's free to join for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and be in a like-minded community of other ATM business owners. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. Hit that smash button. It always helps with the algorithm. And if you have any comments or concerns, or you just want to share it out with your other ATM friends, you know, please do so and comment below if you want us to make a video about something you don't understand or you got questions, please comment below. We always try to answer our question. So I just want to thank you guys for adding value to our channel and we'll see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind group page. Thank you very much.